Hello everyone, glad to see you again and today I would like to show you how we can use artificial intelligence in our usual life and especially we will try to uh, solve some practical task. You know that I am so deep in uh, navigation and air traffic control, thus today we will try to ask uh, ChatGPT to assist uh, for coding in MATLAB, for in solving some uh, practical task, for example, counting a trajectory lens of real aircraft. That's why uh, I will use Flight Aware database of uh, air traffic. You remember that it came from automatic dependent surveillance broadcast technology and nowadays is available for everyone and everyone can use it. Thus, uh, we will choose uh, one of uh, one of flight and then try to estimate uh, trajectory of this aircraft with the help of chat GPT. And let's uh, let me show you how artificial intelligence and neural networks can help us speed up uh, coding process. Thus, let's go. For our uh, experiment, uh, I chose to use uh, a flight from Dallas to Doha. And uh, as you can see, uh, this trajectory is not complete. It is a typical problem for any uh, ADSB data because uh, there are a lot of interference and interruption and it causes uh, some some uh, some empty points in our trajectory that's why uh, first of all uh, we will get this uh, airplane trajectory in MATLAB and then ask uh, ChatGPT to write a software for counting a total flight length of this trajectory. It is important task, for example, for air traffic uh, management, uh, for efficient road selection and for many other applications. That's why I just would like to show how it is so easy with uh, ChatGPT coding in MATLAB. Thus, uh, I will go. Uh, I will use flight uh, which uh, took place 28th of uh, February, yes, to, uh, 2023. Then I will go to view track log, and uh, first of all, we need to get that data in MATLAB. To do that, I just uh, copy the table with latitude, longitude and altitude uh, of this uh, flight okay thus i just need to scroll it uh, a little bit down to copy each line each report of uh, mode 1090 tran es transponder thus i just copy copy it Control c okay then I will go to MATLAB, I already had it open, then click on my workspace and press OK, paste. Then we will wait until uh, MATLAB will launch import wizard. OK, just a second, it is here, I just move uh, this window to make uh, more better view for you. Okay, we need to wait a little bit. Yes, we've got it. And uh, first column here, it is a time when we've got measurement. Thus, I will just check, change the title. The next column, it is latitude. I just call it lat. Next uh, column is longitude. Yes, and uh, this one is altitude. That's why we just can import uh, any sort of data in MATLAB so easy. Just what we need uh, to change uh, data format for first column to the data time. Uh, 
Unfortunately, there is no exactly data format which we need. Thus, we just need to enter it manually. Okay, it is a mask for reading uh, data time from this table. Yes, uh, we've got it. Then we just need to select which column we would like to get. And uh, in case if we do not have data, just a second, uh, I will try to find. Yes, it is here. Uh, I would like just to use uh, uh, a rule for execution the lines where we've got empty data for one of these uh, columns. Uh, thus, I just uh, use rule execute rows with uh, unimportable, unimportable cells. Yes, and now it is uh, another color. It means that after their importing, this data will be empty. Okay, then uh, I will click uh, import and we can go to uh, we can go to MATLAB and you will see that we've got uh, four uh, variables in which we have parameter, uh, parameters of a real airplane trajectory. Then I would like to save it and uh, probably call uh, the file with this data as the title of this flight. Qatar Airways, that's why it is uh, QTR7 uh, 7, uh, 7.3.0. Yep. Also, I will copy it. Okay, and press save. Then uh, we will go to, okay, we can close uh, MATLAB wizard, then we can open um, script uh, editor in MATLAB, and then we can try to start scripting. As you remember, first of all, we need to specify uh, clear of command window, and then uh, clear to clear all variables and include in workspace and also close all we need because we will use uh, multiple figures i hope let's see and uh, next uh, next we can just simply use function load and then specify a, a title of file which we would like to load uh, and this file includes uh, the whole airplane trajectory. That's why each time when we run it, you'll see we've got our variables. That's why each time we make it clear and then load uh, the data from file. That's why each time it is available for uh, computation. Uh, let's go next. Uh, Next, uh, probably uh, because we have some uh, blank or empty points, we need to work uh, for um, make these empty po points uh, filled. That's why uh, I will uh, use uh, inter interpolation with the help of spline functions to get uh, this empty points uh, field. That's why uh, uh, I will just uh, copy, just a second, I will just copy uh, these few uh, lines. Uh, first of all, uh, I will get altitude and then transform it to meters, because actually uh, raw data includes uh, altitude in feet. It is barometrical uh, altitude of airplane. That's why uh, I will uh, change it to meters and then uh, I will count number of seconds uh, for each data point. And then just use uh, interpolation with the help of uh, interp1 for uh, interpolation uh, latitude data longitude and uh, altitude. However, uh, altitude, we will use not altitude, HM, like 
18 meters. That's HM. Uh, for time, T3. That's why uh, I will specify a new time scale from 0 to maximum time T2 in seconds. And then uh, we will interpolate data for each uh, second of flight. Thus, let's run and see uh, what we have. Okay, sorry, maybe I missed somewhere a lot. Uh... Okay, it is here, sorry. Okay, here we are, we've got uh, uh, variables are latitude, or maybe I will make just a simple uh, latitude 2, uh, longitude 2, and altitude 2. Let's run it again, and you will see that we've got this data, and if previously we have only uh, 1000 approximately uh, data points, thus we will increase number of data points to 50,000 of data points. That's why spline functions are are quite helpful for this one. And uh, next I just uh, would like to copy uh, also some part of script. Okay, uh, thus I just paste uh, a few lines of code which uh, I have prepared before uh, for visualization of uh, our data. And if you run it, uh, let's see what we have. Hope I do not have any mistake. Let's check. We need to wait a little bit because there are 50,000 of uh, data points. That's why uh, MATLAB uh, needs some time for data processing. And finally, we have what I would like to show you. Thus, uh, I have uh, a trajectory of airplane in, uh, in a map trajectory projections. And you will see that uh, here is a red line. It is our data points. And the small blue line, it is a result of spline interpolation. And you will see that we have a lack of data in some points, for example, over the uh, Atlantic Ocean and somewhere uh, under the probably Iraq or Iran, Iranian airspace. That's why, um, that's why we use uh, spline interpolation to fill this data. And uh, actually now let's ask chat uh, GP. Uh, to help us to count the total length of this flight trajectory. Actually, it is not easy task because the data in latitude, longitude and uh, altitude in meters, that's why at first chat GPT should uh, tr transform these coordinates to the Cartesian reference frame, like uh, uh, some ECF reference frame on some local Cartesian reference frame and then just apply formula for counting distance between uh, two points in Cartesian reference frame and then just uh, count the sum of these distances. That's why uh, we are expect this behavior from OpenAI. That's why uh, let's ask uh, ChatGPT to help us uh, written a code. Uh, that's why I will go to uh, OpenAI background platform and um, here we have a small dialog box where we can chat with artificial intelligence and here we, we, we need to use some text to uh, express what actually we would like to get from chat GPT, artificial intelligence. Okay, let's ask um, it to assist us. That's why, uh, could you uh, write uh, a code uh, in MATLAB 
also pay attention that you can specify even version of MATLAB. Thus, it, let it be 2016. Um, uh, also, uh, I um, suggest you to divide your request into the specific lines. It will help you to improve your requests each time when you run it. That's why just uh, first line description what you would like to get, uh, like write a quote in MATLAB. Next line specify uh, the main task which you would like to solve and then specify uh, input data and output data which you would like to get. That's why um, write a quote in, in MATLAB. Then we specify uh, to solve, oh, okay, maybe not solve, to uh, count total length of uh, airplane trajectory. Okay, let's put comma, input data. Coordinates of uh, airplane uh, are specified in matrix matrices uh, lab matrices. Okay, latitude. Latitude long longitude um, and alt altitude. Okay, let's check for possible mistakes. Uh, probably here we can specify that it is in degrees. Okay, maybe we will and altitude. Okay, probably we need to specify um, uh, dimensions for latitude and longitude and altitude. Latitude and longitude in uh, degrees uh, altitude in meters okay uh, let's run and see what we will have And maybe just a second, just uh, to specify two more things. We need to uh, also specify uh, what kind of output we would like to get. Uh, and in my case, I would like to get to get total distance of flight trajectory in kilometers. Also, uh, we will put uh, add description to each line. Okay, here we are and then we can uh, uh, ask uh, ChatGPT for helping us with uh, this code. Thus, I just run my request and uh, cross our fingers and let's see what we will get. And we will see that it is a mistake. In this case there is no transformation. It will apply uh, function distance uh, to count uh, 
distance uh, function. Uh, let's check uh, what we have from our chat GPT. Uh, okay, maybe for next time I just uh, change latitude, latitude 2, longitude, longitude 2, and altitude, it is also altitude 2 for our case. And probably we will specify here uh, latitude in uh, degrees because problem that chat GPT cannot understood uh, that we ask uh, ask to solve in kilometers in degrees altitude in meters. The second line we do not need. Uh, actually, let's uh, try to check what we have from chat GPT. Therefore, we will go to our software. Here I will uh, use uh, another section. And uh, what we need, we just need to change latitude to latitude 2. Uh, longitude to longitude 2, altitude to altitude 2. Okay, and we are ready to run. Thus, uh, we've got total distance in kilometers variable. However, we've got uh, some problems with uh, uh, function distance and we will see that uh, we need to uh, to specify some problems with uh, distance function however we can ask uh, chat uh, GPT to regenerate this code Okay, and what uh, what we've got? Uh, why I am like uh, why I love ChatGPT because you can regenerate answer many times how you would like, and after a few times regeneration, uh, I've got code which I expect. Uh, actually, what we can see here, first of all. Um, ChatGPT asked to transform degrees, latitude and longitude to radians. Yes, it was done quite simple by multiplication with P and divided by 180. Uh, then it will apply um, counting of a length with the following constraints. That's why you'll see that here is some trigonometric functions which came uh, for a distance calculation. Distance in latitude, distance in longitude. However, you'll see that there are radius of our planet, yes, in kilometers. That's why everything looks uh, through. And finally, uh, it will count uh, total length. That's why it is a specific formula for getting uh, distance between points. And also everything is in loop uh, for each uh, of our data points. And then just uh, counting the sum and we've got our results in kilometers because everything has been done in kilometers. That's why let's check. Uh, therefore, I just copy this response, uh, go to MATLAB, uh, paste it uh, into the section where we are, and then uh, press just run. And we are waiting. Waiting. Maybe one more time waiting. Okay. I've got uh, my graph. And then uh, I can switch to MATLAB to see what we have. And you will see that we've got total distance 
is okay approximately 35000 kilometers however it's too much i think this distance in meters Okay, uh, thus uh, we've got this distance. However, if we check this distance with actual what we can get, because in flight aware we've got this data, that's why uh, direct distance between these points is approximately 8,000 uh, nautical miles. If you multiply nautical miles with 1 and uh, 6, approximately we will get that uh, approximately. Uh, 14 or 15 uh, thousand of kilometers is actual distance between two of these uh, waypoints. That's why uh, chat GPT give us wrong answer and wrong code because it is much uh, far, far away from the data which actually should be. That's why let's come back to chat GTP and uh, tell him that you, you've got a mistake. Uh, and in this case, I would like to uh, maybe specify our task into two steps. First of all, let's try to uh, ask chat GPT not to convert data, uh, to transform our trajectory to Cartesian reference frame and then count uh, total length. Therefore, write a code in MATLAB to uh, transform uh, to transform form uh, a airplane trajectory uh, from latitude to longitude altitude uh, to uh, x y z in earth centered earth fixed reference frame centered uh, reference frame okay and then uh, then Let's add, then calculate total distance of flight trajectory and uh, for us much more better will be in nautical mile. And then let's ask chat GPT. Okay, we need to increase number of uh, reply. Okay, and here we are. Let's uh, copy and uh, go to our MATLAB code and okay, where is it? Not this one. And then just uh, put it here. Okay, uh, thus, first of all, we will transform to uh, x, y, z in ECF reference frame. We see formulas of transformation between uh, ECF and LLR reference frames. And then uh, apply distance calculation formula and then transformation to nautical mile. It should work. Okay, and what we have, 
okay, which variables, just a second, uh, dist total nautical miles, <laughs> good, dist total nautical miles, and here we are, 7.4243, uh, let's compare it with the uh, flight aware. 7.9 nautical miles. Actually, it could be true. It could be true because uh, in this case um, there are a lot of gaps and we do not know exactly how this distance uh, was calculated. In our case, in MATLAB, uh, ChatGPT helped. Uh, helped us a lot because first of all we transform from LLR to ECF and this transformation is correct and uh, that's why chat GPT no transformation formulas that's why it's quite good okay uh, does it use radiance yes radiance because we transform that's why here we use degree to radiance to trans to make this transformation then earth radius in meters that's why results in uh, xyz is in meters from center of our planet and uh, finally 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 we just apply a uh, recurrent formula for counting the distance between points for each waypoint of our trajectory. It makes sense. And finally we divide it uh, transform to nautical miles. That's why I can approve that it makes sense. Okay, next next part which i would like to ask chat gpt to visualize our data in some um, map projection that's why let's see how artificial intelligence help us to visualize this trajectory Therefore, I just uh, come, come back to open AI dialog box, then uh, make uh, clear that we have, and it took just a second, yes, just make clear everything and uh, just add probably here. Uh, then uh, plot. A figure with with airplane plane trajectory and cost lights cost cost uh, lines of continents. with a uh, help of uh, mapping toolbox. Okay, let's run. And here we have absolutely another behavior, you will see. Okay, first of all, we will see that here there is no uh, uh, formulas uh, for distance, um, uh, for transformation from uh, LLA to ECF. And in this case, uh, ChatGPT propose us to use geodetic to ECF function. Yes, it is true. I like it because it is uh, absolutely correct formula. Uh, then 
it will count uh, distance by the same idea and then use uh, function map show uh, load cost lines map show of cost lines yes it is true and uh, our trajectory thus let's check how it looks like actually in MATLAB uh, also we hear that there are some titles uh, titles x label and y label therefore let's copy it uh, ctrl c then go to MATLAB then I would like to uh, probably comment our previous uh, answer from MATLAB uh, from ChatGPT and then put our new code and run it again. Okay, and uh, what I have, I have something like that. And you will see that I do not like it because, yes, we have a trajectory. However, it looks uh, not so cute. Therefore, let's uh, specify exactly title of function with the help of which we would like to draw our trajectory. Uh, okay, with the help of... Uh, Mapping uh, toolbox. Uh, therefore, uh, I would like to specify to use geo show function with airplane trajectory and costless with the help of uh, geo show function. Geo show function. Okay, and uh, let's repeat our requests. Okay, here it is another way for transformation, spherical to Cartesian reference frame it used. And then uh, here it used uh, geo show function and plot 3. I don't think that it makes sense to simulate because you will see that it is, does not work. Because uh, geo show and plot 3 does not uh, work exactly. However, we can try. Uh, let's go to MATLAB, then put it here, and then run. And we have, of course, mis mistake, because with this file uh, we do not have. Um, because uh, I expect that it is used like load cost lines, and there is no load cost lines. That's why we will have uh, a mistake here each time when we run it. That's why uh, my first suggestion, uh, be careful when you work with AI. Of course, it can generate multiple numbers of uh, solving particular problem in MATLAB. However, user uh, need to pay attention with uh, quotes which uh, will be provided by uh, OpenAI. Thus, uh, many times we've got wrong result. However, if you know what you need to do, you can easily tune and select uh, exactly what you need to get exactly data. That's why we solve particular task, we count total length of flight trajectory, and it was done absolutely correctly. Uh, however, with uh, uh, representation of airplane trajectory, much more better will be to draw or to type a code by yourself, because in this case, code will be much more slower than request in chat GPT to answer right in this code. That's why uh, 
just use a GeoShow function. Uh, if you would like, you can load uh, continents and then just apply uh, uh, add uh, continents. Let me show you. It's just a few seconds. Okay, thus just uh, scroll scroll uh, a little bit uh, where we've got our uh, figure and then just add load cost lines, then geo show cost load and cost lot. Because uh, in cost lines module uh, we have a database of uh, waypoints uh, which uh, creates a cost lines of continents. That's why uh, there are two variables, cost line longitude and altitude uh, and uh, latitude. Therefore, just two lines uh, create uh, this uh, figure. Then uh, I just run it and let's see what we have. Okay, and what we have. Uh, we have uh, our trajectory so long and uh, coastlines of uh, continents. That's why we can exactly um, expect uh, the trajectory of um, airplane. And this is, for example, Atlantic Ocean. Also, we can tune a particular frame for our map. That's why we can make it more wider or more slower. Okay, thank you for attention. I hope you understood that ChatGPT may be helpful when you solve particular task of your big uh, code. It may really help you and save your time. However, you need to know what you would like to get because uh, ChatGPT give, uh, you, gives you too many results and you just need to choose which of them will be more optimal or more correct and then just uh, use it in and apply it in your own code. That's why thank you for watching. Uh, you will see that artificial intelligence is helpful and helps to save your time, especially if you do not know MATLAB so deep. Thank you for watching. See you again.